Yes, 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 y'all. Welcome back to Hollywood North Radio. I am your host, Big Sleeps. Quiet Storm is always in the mix every Saturday from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. And right now is where the party is about to begin. We are now about to touch on to our segment called The Soundtrack of My Life with the one, the only, the talented, the beautiful Rukia Bernard from the television series Van Helsing, season three. She's killing it. And she's with us here today, gal. You're Live. so sweet. You are so sweet, big sleeves. You're so sweet. Look, we got, yo, <laughs> we got you got to take you got to take some of that real estate. We got to get like Anton's Instagram thing. He got to go. You know what I'm saying? Right he here. Go, yeah, he gonna have Does to it go, matter if I turn it sideways? I'm no, such no, a luddite. I'm no, just like embracing this Instagram no, thing. Just, just turn it sideways. Turn it sideways. Drop it so. Everybody, drop it so. Do so. All right. I come so. I come so. All right. Hello. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yes. And I mean, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, you Thank got you. here early too. Black people who came early. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. This is a good day, right? bro. Right. Welcome to Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> New breed of black people who come on time. Came right? on time. She came an hour and fifteen minutes early, oh, yeah, bro. I was playing some good music. It was yeah, good. It was, it it was, was, it was fun, right? The live music. This is a dope show, right? This is a really fun show. It was so good. I was and not expecting that. You know, I, I have to. I have to say, um, when I met you on Van Helsing, uh-huh. you, you're just such a beautiful soul and just really so nice. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because we always, like, I mean, we, we work in an industry where sometimes people, excuse my language, just dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of dicks in <laughs> our industry. Like, I like you. I don't uh, really like yeah, you. Yeah, I like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right. all that bullshit. You got to go through the hair and makeup, <laughs> and then you get back, and you're just like, damn, I hate this dude. I ain't going to Crafty no more. He went to Crafty. I'm going to wait for him to leave. <laughs> 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 There's but, like a lot. I, I'm, I'm trying to make lemonade out of everything. So even in those situations where people are penises on uh, on yeah, set, yeah. I'm like, you know, they're just really insecure. Yeah, no, yeah. Really insecure, and they're hurting inside, and they actually need more love than than anybody else. If anything, you know, it's just so to true. flip, just to flip them to the other side. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to make lemonade because no. otherwise, this this world, holy shit, this world yeah. can be so <laughs> freaking <laughs> depressing, yeah. right? It's so true. And I'm like lemonade, but in, right? But, but you were so wonderful. Like it was Thank like you. it was like. We were just all we were just chilling, having lunch. Yeah. And we we're just I was like, yo, and then we started talking about projects. We started yeah. oh, snap, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And it was <laughs> funny because I saw how infectious that was. And I saw how because I'm an observer. When I go to say, I mean I grew up in Toronto, New York, so yeah, you gotta watch yeah. Mix Who's behind you, beside right? you, how many I grew people up in Toronto, behind you. So, right, so I yeah. know, I get it. I get right? it. Right? So <laughs> when you when I watch this, I always see and then I just totally saw like People want, like, the next day, everybody was, like, so many people wanted to be around you at lunchtime. Aww. And then it just got bigger and bigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I'm like, okay, I get it. I totally get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. I guess. And, I guess. But I, no, I tell you, I'm an observer. Uh, thank you. I, I observe everything. Thank That's you. Quiet Storm. That's Quiet Storm. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> He's watching you all the time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and, and, I, and, and that was one of, the, one of the beautiful things that I felt like I was like, yo. I like this girl. I, so, and then we started talking about some, some, like projects and yeah. started so on and so forth. Yeah. And then and there's always that struggle of like, oh, they gonna start it? Oh no, they ain't doing that no more. They gonna push back. They gotta make some more money. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. But you've always been very, very um, sweet. And I was like, okay, well, I need to bring her. On, I need to find out a little bit more about her because, I mean, outside of being Canadian and being respectful, you mm-hmm. see, we see a lot of people who flip and go to the dark side. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, big time. And. What what is it that keeps you just you're always smiling unless it's yeah. your character and you gotta be an angry black woman. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not a black woman. That's not, that's, that's just the way how I was born. I can be angry, okay? You know, okay, okay. all right, all right, yeah. all right. You can be a stereotype if you want to. But no. Never. <laughs> I'll never take that away from you. Never. But no, I mean what what has it been that's been like you're just a you're you're a very a bright aura that people I've seen are very drawn to you. Oh, I, I don't know. Um, I'm all about trying to put out good in the world. Like, do better. Okay. If you're doing better, do better than that. Right? And just try to t- up myself. And I try to surround myself with people who are uplifting and positive. And, you know, we all have our bad days and mm-hmm. whatnot. But, like, 
you can't sit in that. Like, there's so much shit in the world. Like, really, like, really, really dark fucking sh- I can say fuck. Oh, hell, right? you can fuck all you fuck. want. Fuck. My kids, my kids aren't here. My kids aren't here, so I'm going to get all potty mouth here, right? Okay. <laughs> fuck, shit, cunt. Ah! Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, so, no, but there's so much shit out there in the world right now, and I'm just like, wh- who am I to be all pissy when I live in Canada in the warmest climate in Canada, where there's like mountains and ocean mm. and a diverse culture, you know what I mean? And there's no violence, like very, 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 very little violence. We don't have to worry about like, oh, maybe the bus will bomb today. I don't know, right? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, there's yeah. none of that shit, right? I mean, that, I mean, we not to say that it's perfect here. Don't get me wrong. No, there's like not. a lot of shit going on here in Vancouver, mm-hmm. but like, for the most part, my life is comfortable. And I, at its base level, there's nothing really to worry about, you know. And and so I just try to I just try to remember that and be grateful for the life that I have, like I do have, because it could go. Yeah. And um. Sideways. And then like and then I try to like connect with people on that level. Cause I think everyone in Canada is kind of on that level. Oh hell you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Right? No doubt. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. doubt. Dudes over here yeah. just th- this like turn up the music real loud behind. Yeah, us. we're yeah. at Save on Meats here in Vancouver, which yeah. is a, actually a restaurant. It used to be a butcher shop, but now it's an actual restaurant. And they just decided like mm, we're gonna play our music. Yeah, we just yeah. decided we're gonna turn it up. You know, it's like let's get it popping in here. Okay. Yeah. No problem. We can roll. <laughs> so that's what you hear in the background if you do hear. It. If you don't, it's just irritating the shit out of me. So I'm telling them to turn it. <laughs> so this year has been fantastic for you i mean yeah. you've got supernatural i mean they're on their like 33rd th- season <laughs> like so their 500th like, yeah, season yeah, like, <laughs> thank god you know it was actually my second time on supernatural as two different characters two different characters i died the first time playing camille thibodeau this fake um psychic like uh, oh what's her name uh, cleo, from like madame cleo. cleo that's right madame yeah. cleo yeah. and uh and then they brought me back and i didn't die this time so we'll see yeah, lucky, yo. and then I did an episode, yeah. right? Right. <laughs> well, they have a spinoff of Wayward, wait, what's, Wayward, Wayward Pines. Wayward Pines, right? And like, and then all the SPN people are like, "Bring me a violence back! Bring me a violence back!" So, oh, I'm that's ke- dope. Uh, yeah, it's, it, their fan base is insane, and uh, so much love there. And so I'm just hoping, 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 putting it out there to the world. Hello, SPN and Wayward Pines people. Rikia Bernard wants to be on your show. She totally and, does. Um, <laughs> she totally does. <laughs> and, right. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. I did an episode of Travelers with Eric McCormick um, on, on Netflix. And I've just been busy. I went to Comic Con last year. What was that like? That was bananas, man. Was that your first it time? It was my first time. And like, in all honesty, I have I've never been like a comic book f- person. I love art, and I, and I was really excited to see all that. And um, and I get there, and I was with my husband, and it was like a distance that you would drive in exactly 60 seconds took mm-hmm. us 30 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about 30 right. 30 minutes. <laughs> I had no idea. And so we did our panel, and then we had to go do some, you know, portraits and other interviews and stuff like that. And like they were like, okay, you have to go to the Hard Rock Cafe and go across the street. And that was like, that should have been a five-minute walk. That took an hour and 15 minutes. It yeah, was crazy, and that was on so Thursday. Busy. That's like their slow days of so Thursday. That is nuts. It was bananas. Yeah, it was so insane. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And you and and you know what? So was there somebody that you seen at Comic Con that you were like, oh my god, I can't believe Sunset is there? Well, um, no, not really. I'm not, I'm not really like, oh my god, celebrity, you know? No, I hate um, you. But like, that was me there. Yeah. That like I, I <laughs> people are like Doc, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? And I'm just there like with my camera trying to take pictures of all the little artwork, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to go through like why'd you, know? you do it? Why'd you do it? Like I don't know. I'm like I'm like, and I know exactly what they're talking. about. They're talking about episode nine in season one, and um, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh man, like you guys, you guys, is so much love, so much love. People had my headshots printed out, pe- and like for me to autograph and would follow wow. me around. Big, it was cool. bananas, man. It was. So so much love. I'm gonna maneuver a little bit. Yeah. So, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Technical don't. difficulties here. No, no, no. Gotta, lots and lots nah, of we cords. Gotta, we gotta get the heat back. We gotta get that fan going again. So oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta do some surgery over here, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We back. I had back. Doc and Steve had to do some surgery. For him and Doc, we gotta get some breeze. Oh, my God. It is hot in here. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, we want, I'm gonna get into the segment we call the soundtrack of my life. 
And uh, what we do is we count down the top five songs of the person's life, which today is Rakia Bernard. <laughs> and basically how, what it is is we tell a story about, you know, your number five song. Okay. And then you tell them what it is. Okay. And how it connected with you, so on and so forth, or what the song means to you. Okay. And then we count them down from five to one. And then, yeah, we just kind of keep that conversation going from re- from there. And um, I want to I wanna look here. On Quiet Storm. Yes. Quiet Storm. I'm going to get you to do me a favor, man. Quiet Storm. I'm going to get you. You got a pen? I no. Somebody got a pen. We need a pen. Please. Because I'm going to play a little game with myself. <laughs> what are you going to play? <laughs> but we got a pencil. That's good. Okay. So if you could um if you can write that that list out for me. Five. Mm-hmm. From five. Yeah, but don't yeah. tell me. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Do you me. remember? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I totally don't. You know, because sometimes I see a lot and I'll send Quiet Storm a list of stuff and be like, yo, man, we definitely gotta play this. And then I'll be like, oh, yo, this is a dope list. But then I'll be like, oh, yo, that's crazy because that song reminds me that we should play this. Yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah. So your list becomes like gibberish, yeah. Because, <laughs> but I know, might not, I might know who's on the list. Okay. You okay. know, as far as the there was song. Kind of a, there was kind of a theme to it because at first I did the list and it was like all different kinds of genres of music. Yeah, you could do and that. then I, I could do that and I was just like, nah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. And so I did it. And so I sent you one genre alone. Okay. So yeah. you did one genre just alone. One okay. Genre well, we're going to have some fun with this. Mm-hmm. So we're going to, we're gonna, you know, I'm going to have Quiet Storm hand you the list. Okay. And then we're going to see if uh, if we can do this real quick and uh, get, get it popping. Yeah. And I, I'm probably gonna get every single one of them wrong because I, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> my don't brain went blank because I should I should have a mental note of this. Don't sell yourself. And then, uh, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna be like, no, oh yeah. I don't think I am because I remember I looked and I'm like I'm like yo this is dope list. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like all of a sudden I was like mm, no I can't. Okay. See, no I don't no, no don't let you're peeking. I'm trying to. You were peeking. I know I was trying oh, to. No. All right, so let's okay. Let's talk about your number five. (laughs) Let's talk. Let's let's talk about your number five. Okay, so this I was thinking when you asked me the 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 soundtrack of my life, Mm -hmm. I didn't do the whole life because I've been around a little while, Mm -hmm. and um and I just thought okay, well maybe I'll just think about my career. And I went to theater school in Toronto where I was born and raised. Mm -hmm. Love the six. I was born there too. Where were you? I was born in Flemo. I was born actually. Sorry, I was born in um. Um, and Jesus Christ, Scarborough. Scarborough, um, okay. Uh, by Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and then I moved to uh, Don Mills and Eglinton. Okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. about uh, gl- sixty one Grenoble Drive was my address growing <laughs> up. It was a Grenoble <laughs> Drive right by Vendome. Yeah. And um and uh, the courts over there. Yeah, so That's yeah. where I grew up in the golf course. Yeah, I was on the other side. I was in North York, like oh, Lawrence okay. and Keogh, oh, close easy. to Wilson. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Easy. Close to Jungle. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beef Patty Town. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, Redrin. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, and close to Eglinton West. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I grew up downtown. Like, I went to Jarvis Collegiate in high school. And, oh, you know, wow. Fr- yeah, so... Yeah, but that's just where my parents lived. So it was always 45 minutes downtown. Anyway, okay. so yeah. I decided when I graduated from theater school that I was the shit. <laughs> and I was like, because I was one of the few in my graduating class that graduated with um, with an agent. And within a month, I was working. I was working with Ernest Dickerson, who was oh. the DP for all of Spike Lee's yeah, 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 early yeah, yeah. movies. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, and I, and I did a movie with him and I was just like, I was the shit, mm-hmm. which is, you know, which is great that I was working, mm-hmm. but not like a real, like real reality base of what this actual industry right, exactly. is. Anyway, so when I chose this first song, I was just thinking about that a lot, a lot, a lot. Is it Kanye? Nope. No. Okay. No. 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 Yeah. I, I know. You saw Kanye tell, on the tell, list. That's I did. I didn't even read. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. I remembered. Yeah. I think I remembered there was a Kanye <laughs> on there. That's why, I, honestly, I swear to God, I didn't yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't look. I didn't look. I didn't yeah. look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, mm-hmm. I could, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. And if I'm crying, I don't know. It's Kanye. It might be. No, I can't remember. Let's just go. Let's go. Don't number five. Who we got? Okay. Answer is. A Millie by Lil Wayne. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A Millie by Lil Wayne, this number shit was five. My shit. 
Number five, <laughs> Rakia <laughs> Bernard's soundtrack of her life. It's number five, Lil Wayne, a million, right here on Hollywood North Radio. Five. Yes, 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 y'all. Welcome back to Hollywood North Radio. You are here live with Big Sleeps and Quiet Storm in the Mix. And we also have, like I told y'all before, the wonderful, the beautiful, Rakia Bernard. Hey, hey. She's here. She's counting down her top five songs for the soundtrack of my life. That was Amelie <laughs> by Lil Wayne. That was number five. And before we go on to your number four songs, I just want to plug something real quick that's happening tomorrow, May 27th, that's Sunday, May 27th, at the Vancouver Convention Center. It is the Veg Expo. Follow them at Veg Expo. You know, we're all things vegan, veg talk, veg fit, veg eats, veg panel. They got 200 plus plant based exhibitors. Uh, it's the biggest ve- uh, vegan show in, in Canada, actually. I was going to say in Vancouver, but it is in Canada. So, yo, big shout out to them and go check that out tomorrow, oh, Sunday, cool. May 27th at the convention center. I will be there. You know, I'm trying to get, you know, trying to be half and half. You know what I'm saying? But even though y'all be seeing me eating my big bacon and pork and stuff over here. <laughs> bacon burgers. <laughs> but there is still a lot of good things there. I like I go have the coconut ice cream and stuff like that. Just try to find other ways to be healthy in other different ways. So, cool. Big up to them yeah. and go check that out. So now we're going to go into your number four. Song. Okay. So right. this one. So after coming out the gates real strong, um, uh, things didn't go so well for me after the first few movies that I did. And I got a job mm-hmm. like we all do. We all have I them. was working at the Pita Pit doing night shifts. <laughs> <laughs> right. In Toronto? In, uh, Toronto and here when I moved to Vancouver. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a tough go, especially when I came to Vancouver, because at least, you know, casting people knew me in Toronto. But here I was starting from starting fresh again. You know what yeah, I mean? And I didn't realize it was going to be like that. Anyway, this was a song that I remember in my uniform with my little visor hat and the pita pit that I would hear all the time because it was a hit back in 2004. Um, so, you might know this one already. We're playing a game, everybody. No, no I'm good. Yeah, well, you yeah. guessed the guy. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, last oh, time. Snap. Did you forget already? Uh, you forgot. Do the wire? Yes. No, no, but same album, same same album. Okay, I only yeah. get one guess. We got to keep moving. Okay, keep going. here we go. Jesus Walks by God. Oh! Yay. West. Oh! Ah, the Jesus biggest Walks. song. Yes. Jesus Walks, yes. Kanye West. I need a Jesus, man. number four song on <laughs> Rakia <laughs> Bernard's <laughs> top five songs for the soundtrack of her life right here on Hollywood North Radio. <laughs> Yeah, that was number four, Jesus Walks, Kanye West. That was the number four song for Rakia <laughs> Bernard's soundtrack of her life right here on Hollywood North Radio. And if you want to follow her at Rakia, Rukia, R-U-K-I-Y-A dot yes. B-E-R-A. No, B- son. B-E-R-N-A-R-D. There you go. Right. There Sometimes my 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 name can't my name can't spell it out. Sorry, Dr. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rakia Dot Bernard on Instagram and Rakia Bernard on Twitter. There you go. There and you just Rakia Bernard on Facebook. Yeah, I never was yeah, really man. good at it, but the spelling bee's part of it. That's you know all what good. I'm I don't judge. I and don't I judge. and I didn't have my cheat sheets because somebody stole them and wrote That's on them. That's all good. And I'm not allowed to look. So. <laughs> You're not allowed but to look it up. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the next one on my list is um, I Became a Mom, and that was a game changer to my life, to my career, to my joy, to everything. And, and uh, this woman is a powerhouse musician. You rarely hear from her these days, but when she came <laughs> out, she just, she, yeah, right, 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 <laughs> right. And uh, she, she just, she blew everyone away with her intense, not intense, her incredible artistry. And I still love her. She's coming to town too, I hear. Um, again? Who, who, yeah, again. Hopefully she'll be I on ain't time. Going. I ain't going. I, I've and heard, I already know I've who heard, it is because yeah. you said. Right? I refuse. Right? I okay. refuse. But this anyway, but, but, but not to knock her as a person. Mm. 
Her I'm, art, I am. she is no, but she is an outstanding artist. artist and yes. you cannot take that away. No. We actually don't know who any artist is. Kanye no. West, with everything that is going on with him, we don't know who he is. Well, I know but Kanye we, just crazy. I know exactly who he well, is. Well, he he's crazy. crazy. He's crazy no, right playing. now. No, I don't know, but his artistry is on point. It's and amazing. Still is and right. still is, you know. And yeah. that's all what we really get to see, right? That's really true. and truly, that's true. everything is manufactured in this Hollywood, mm-hmm. Hollywood, Holly fake. Yeah. Anyways, who is my number three? Lauren Hill. Of course. You said late. Okay. And okay. what song? But what song? What song? Uh, oh, you said kids in Zion. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. See, I remember a little bit. I remember a little bit from uh, from when I did read it and I was looking at the list going like, this is dope. So yeah, that, there we go. I yeah. got that one. So there we go. Number three for the soundtrack of her life for Kia Bernard is Lauren Hill's Zion. Mm-hmm. Right here on Hollywood North Radio where the celebrities come to play. Yes, that was Lauren Hill, Zion. That was the number three song for the soundtrack of her life. We're speaking with Rakia Bernard from the television series Van Helsing. And you can also catch her on Supernatural. You can catch her on all the Hallmark stuff nowadays. She's going to be like the new black girl and all of that. So, yeah, it's going to be that cool. Uh, yeah, so you can catch Rakia on Van Helsing. You can catch the first two seasons on, I believe. You can still catch her on, on Netflix, Netflix now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? And they're shooting season three right now. Yep. No, I think I was. Was I in season two? No, you were in season one. That's how we met. Yeah, Yeah, I think it was episode 10 10. of season one. We were in Eden. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, You held it down there. Well, you know. You held it down. You killed a brother. I'm telling you, that can come bring me back as a vampire. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing is forever in the world of vampires. So I was hoping they could come back. Maybe there was some vampire blood on that knife. Oh, it can. bring me back to life. You just never know. It's happened before again and again and again on our show. I love it. Yeah, man. I want to come back. I'm going to wait till I see the the producer again I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> you should you I'm gonna call him on his phone you hey should. man I just had a great idea <laughs> but you can have it <laughs> <laughs> with me in it <laughs> yeah, yeah but I gotta play the character right so you know <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it. More people need to pitch stuff, right? It's original I hear you. thoughts. I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna get, we're gonna keep it moving on to the number two song for the soundtrack of our life with Rikia Bernard here with us on Hollywood North Radio. Okay, so this one, and we're playing a game, guys, yeah, where Big Steve has to guess what I had yeah. emailed him because he doesn't remember anything. No, I, at my brain is all is asleep. So <laughs> it's cush cushioned. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, so after I had one kid, things started to pick up. Ironically enough, a lot of women don't think that you can have a career and be a mother. And no. and uh, and uh, my whole my whole mo is to prove that wrong. And so my career started to take off after I had my daughter. And then after that, I decided because there was this whole save BC films thing, and oh, it yeah, was, and it was slow. So I was like. Mm, probably a good time for me to have a second kid then because it was slow in the industry anyway so i did and after that i was pounding the pavement and i started working again when he was two months old and it was it's just been an uphill climb not an uphill climb but like a like a rocket ship ascent since he was born that's beautiful it it's really is and i bl- i'm so grateful for for my children for that because yeah. i feel it was from them that I was gifted that. And you know, most women going to look at you and be mad as hell because you don't even look like you had a half a kid. <laughs> oh, I got, so. I got two. I got two rugrats. I got two rugrats. They're going to be mad me. as hell when they see no, you. No, oh, no, this, no, this no. This bitch trying to brag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if they're going to be bitching at me, I'm just going to give them more love and say, baby, you can have it too. Baby, you can have it too. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. Um, So this one, and then that, that rise landed me on Van Helsing. Which I, st- I started pilot season. It was the first audition I did uh, for pilot season. I was like, okay, great, way to break it in. And then my pilot season just came to an abrupt great. stop. And I saw this video and I was just like, yes, that's me. A motherfuckers never love me. <laughs> this is worst behavior okay, by here we Drake. Go. Worst behavior, but Drake. Now they love me. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Number two on the Rick. And they love Rick- me bad, bad. Uh, but no, soundtrack <laughs> of my life. Number two is Drake. Worst behavior. Yes, and we are back live on Hollywood North Radio with the one, the only, the beautiful 
Rakia Bernard, she's from Van Helsing. That's black people acting a fool. That's all. That's just black folk acting a fool. We, we get we get amped. We get re- amped real quick, real easy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was the number two song, Worst Behavior. Uh, Drake on the soundtrack of Rakia Bernard's soundtrack of her life. And we're going to count now. We're counting down to number one. Number one. And I think this is probably the most important song right now. It's very current. It just came out. Um, I've been thinking a lot about artistic integrity. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you're on the grind, you're like, okay, well, this will just be a stepping stone to the next level, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And especially nice. if you have, or you know, you need to pay some bills and, and like, you know, you take this job because, yeah, it's going to pay good, but like, when it doesn't really appeal to your soul. And I've been thinking a lot about like the consequence of that. Wow, it's like construction zone in here. <laughs> and um, Is that you? and this and this guy, you okay? oh though, no, that's me. That's just my battery. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's not broken. Um, this guy, I am so in awe of his talent. He is multifaceted and he is using his art to spread a message and to really elevate black experience, particularly in America. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's so important and crucial right now. And it inspires me to do the same and to, in whatever project I'm doing, even if it's a scene in my show, I, I work with the writers to be like, how can we do this so that, you know, it's on point and it's putting out the right message that we all believe that should be out there in the world. And this guy's doing it on his own. I, I just think he's dope. I hope to work with him one I day. I know this. Who is? Who <laughs> Did it, you say keywords? You said yeah, yeah, his yeah. artistic what, what? brand new song. Yeah. Things that are going on in yeah. America. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I know this. One. I can play this game pretty good. You know, and I had some hints the week before, so. But yeah, I th- I'm going to go with Childish Gambino. Yeah, this man. is America. Yeah. This is America. Nothing more important right now than All this in the music video. All I right, think. so here we go. We ha- Here we have it. We we have counted down the top five songs for Rakia Bernard's soundtrack of her life. It is number one. It's Childish Gambino. This is America. America. Right, so uh, yeah, there we have it. Rakia, thank you so much for coming on the oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and guess that's it. You. That's number one. I love yeah. you, too. I love you. Quiet this storm. is amazing. Bring me back anytime. Uh, you know, I'd be done. more than happy to done. be here. You just yes. let us know when, yo, I got this new ting, 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 ting coming. Yeah, so man. I need to come yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Done, done, and done. Okay. Thank you once again oh, for coming by. Oh, my God. Man, love. love. Man, love. love. We're going to do projects together anyway. She, yes. Like, I mean, we have one on the table right now. Yes, we but, do. Um, but we ain't going to tell y'all until it comes down, because mm-hmm. uh, until it happens. Mm-hmm. But we got something on the table. <laughs> and it's going to be good. Yes, it is. Okay. So here we have it. The number five song for Rakia Bernard, Soundtrack of Life. Don't forget to catch her out. Catch her on um, Netflix. You can go and watch the first two seasons of Van Helsing. You can also catch her on Supernatural. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? What do we? Travelers. What else? We got Travelers. Yes, we, if you're a Hallmarky, check me out on One Winter Weekend yeah. on Hallmark and a plethora of other Hallmark movies. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> so once again, Rakia, thanks for coming by. Number one. Yes. The soundtrack of her life is Childish Gambino. This is America. Only on Hollywood North Radio. Every Saturday from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. Right here. Log on to www.saveonradio.com. Click on Hollywood North Radio. And yeah, this is where y'all find us every Saturday from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. Where the celebrities come to play. Thank y'all for listening. I am your host, Big Sleeps. Quiet Storm is always in the mix. And, and on behalf of Anton, Baby Harry, Callaway, also John Z, and Rakir Bernard, we're signing off. Hollywood North Radio, y'all. Thank y'all for listening. We'll catch y'all next week right here. On Hollywood North Radio, where the celebrities come to play. (laughs) 